Hey, Shaheen, is it wrong to be an American? I don't know, Ari. We're just two adults who studied liberal arts, and we smell our own farts, and we're talking about the things we have. There's potentially many reasons why it's wrong to be an American, but today we're gonna to be looking into why it may be environmentally wrong. Well, if it's wrong to be an American, I never wanna be right. Really, that's, that's your stance. You know, freedom. I grew up in Iran and I moved here when I was 15. And I got to invent myself however mm -hmm. I wanted to. The fact that you have the ability to sit here right now and even ask the question, is it wrong to be an American? And to know that it's gonna go online and mm -hmm. to not worry that you're gonna be imprisoned for that is a huge deal and something That's to not true. be taken for granted. I'm pretty bummed to be an American. I feel like we're the Lindsay Lohan of the world. We're a train wreck and everyone's just excited to see us fail. That's rude. That's a rude <laughs> thing to say about us and Lindsay Lohan. Growing up in California, I am what they would call a liberal elite in the coastal cities. I'm bummed about our horrible track record of cool. imperialism, slavery, genocide. I've compiled a list of facts of why it may be wrong to be an American. Despite the fact that the U.S. only makes up about 4% of the world's population, we make up about 17% of the world's primary energy consumption. Petroleum, which is made from crude oil, is the U.S.'s largest energy source. Additionally, we are the world's largest user of petroleum with 20.2% consumption. The nations that are polluting the most, are bearing the least of the burden. Less developed countries, they're the ones that are suffering the brunt of climate change. Yeah. And they're the least responsible. So it's very yeah. unjust. In the US, we produce about 4.9 pounds of trash per person every day. We are the lead producers of trash in the world per capita. While China makes the most trash, their population is much larger than ours. People living in the US produce three times as much trash as people in China. We're number one in, in all the ways. That's good. <laughs> no, that, it's that, not. That, that, <laughs> yeah, but if you stop the sentence at just the part where you said number, number one. Number one, yeah, you're right. And, you, you, and maybe just don't say the rest of it. <laughs> if we get Musk to like start shooting our trash into space, <laughs> I frankly don't care if there's a lot of trash in space. Do you? I guess not. The U.S. has a population of around 330 million people and we make up roughly 4% of the total world population, but we use a lot more than 4% of the world's resources. If the world's population had the same environmental consumption patterns as the average American lifestyle, we would need five Earths to sustain ourselves. That's nuts. And you expect that when we leave here and go outside, we're gonna open the door to this like ridiculous world where people are going around just shooting guns and throwing trash out of the windows and things are on fire, but it's really nice and lovely out there right now. You it know is, what I yeah, mean for yeah. the most part? Where is this carnage? Why don't we see it? The true cost is hidden. There's an environmental cost to all of these choices we're making and a human rights cost, but as an American consumer, that's hidden from us. Yeah. And we're not thinking about that and we don't discover that unless we actually dig deep and ask those questions. Now the question is, are we more for the wean ourselves off of this lifestyle or are we the kind of people that are like, you know what, I'm gonna just keep snorting America until I run out and then I'll crash and burn. I don't think anyone wants to give up any modicum of comfort or mm -hmm. privilege. I think that's against the American way. Yeah, and I know what modicum means. <laughs> <laughs> Despite the fact that Americans fall behind the rest of the world in terms of sustainable behavior, we are less likely to feel green guilt when it comes to our impact on the environment. But we are the most confident that individual action can help. We're the worst for the environment and we feel the least guilty about it. Granted, these are figures from 2012, but I think there is a kernel of truth there. Well, the American lifestyle also doesn't give us enough downtime to actually be able to process and feel any guilt. Unless we are actively thinking about this every day, we will get sucked up in life and we will have these moments where we have to make choices that actively kind of support this America that we're talking against right now. Yeah, we're all just people in bodies trying to do our best. 
Although China emits the most carbon dioxide currently, the U.S. has emitted more carbon than any other nation throughout history. Well, that's terrible. We are the reason for climate change. We're like the big bad guy. Or the Lindsay Lohan of the world. What is this against <laughs> Lindsay Lohan? Like, what do you have against Lindsay no, Lohan? No, I don't. I like her. I'm just saying, like, kind of a train wreck, just like us. I don't think she appreciates you saying this about her. I'm sorry, Lindsay. Okay, so is it wrong to be an American? Clearly this American way of life is a self-defeating way of life that will eventually lead to its own extinction. It's just unsustainable. It's wrong to be the kind of American that finds this out and kind of goes right back into the matrix. We all need to take the red pill. Mm. We're sort of villainizing the average American consumer, yeah. but I think who really needs to take responsibility is corporations and governments. As an American, I want to push politicians and corporations to actually take action on the climate crisis. Obviously, the average American can't just get up and be like, you know what, I'm gonna change what it's like to be an American. But you can work towards that and yeah. you can find other people and you can group up and not be persecuted for that. There's a reason why so much of the world's artistic trends and fashion trends and culture is born here because somewhere in between the freedom of expression we have here and the friction of American life is the perfect sauce for a lot of incredible creativity to happen. And mm -hmm. it's easy to see the bad stuff, but it's also really easy to forget all the amazing things that have happened here and are still happening here. So I do think it's wrong to be an American, but I wouldn't stop there. I would say that it's wrong to be in any developed nation who built its economy on fossil fuels. Okay. It's not just us. We are maybe the extreme example of something that is happening in all developed nations. We are consuming at a greater rate than the earth can sustain us. Continued economic growth forever is not realistic because we have a finite amount of resources on this planet. So I think we need to redefine success as not just profit, but also taking into account human well-being and environmental well-being. I feel like we're like little ants. Yeah. <laughs> talking about being ants, and then we're like, hopefully... <laughs> yeah. Just so you know, I never think about Lindsay Lohan. Yeah. Just like I don't think about the train wreck United States is. So maybe I should be thinking more about both of those things. Yeah, you're right. Yeah.